Welcome everybody to another boss battle this time against a guy called Harmony. I'm Baronian and I have some budget decks for you. So Harmony is a very interesting boss. First off it's a 325 which with the crazy ability of all minions cost zero mana. Your minions and their minions. But that's not all. You also start with a Colossus and a Chimera. Two very big, strong and dangerous minions. So, sounds super easy, right? No, not completely, because when you kill Harmony, dissonance is happening. The chest frenzy and when dissonance is spawned, all minions switch allegiances and dissonance gains plus three plus three for each of its minions that switch sides. So this gets huge. So how to counter that? Easy. We just prevent that thing from spawning. And how we do that? By surrounding the um, surrounding harmony before we kill it. Because uh, dissonance doesn't spawn on the same tile, it spawns on a nearby tile. If there's no nearby tile, well, then it can't spawn. Let's see how we do it. I have a budget Nemerton deck, a budget Xorxu deck, and a budget Abyssian but, um, Swarm deck. Let's look at the decks and then at the replays. It's the same budget sword deck we played last week. I didn't change anything though. We have to do something about this, maybe. Because our minions cost zero mana. Yes, but we start with one mana. So all our spells, they cost the same amount. So like Raving Swarm. It's 3 1 1 ravelings, but it's really bad because you can play it only on turn 3. While every other minion costs 0 mana. So, if you really want to optimize this list, remove raveling swarm for sure and play some minion. Anything. I don't know. Maybe even just some big stuff. Um, What else? Yeah, that's probably mostly it. Blood Echoes is maybe not that great because you want your minions close to the center to surround the uh, harmony. So this is really bad for that. Get rid of it too, probably. Better Dancer, I'm not sure we want to play it because we don't want to kill harmony. We want to round it then kill it. But maybe, yeah, maybe we can do something with it. So let's see how the game goes. Frankly, the idea is that we want to Sacrifice our stuff with spurs. That we get six spurs so we can play Xoxu. But we don't need, really need Xoxu, I think. I mean, maybe it helps us. So this boss is um, really fun because it's actually pretty easy if, to, if you surround them. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy because in Congress you can't play on turn. You need to turn on another turn. But um, we just draw a card from Void Hunter, get a 4-4. Four, four. Could have played the Void Hunter here and get a 4-4 four, four here. We have a better position on that. Now we have another BBS for next turn and we have two mana. So maybe we can play Malice into Aphotic Grain. And then we have like three spurs. Then we can kill something of ours with Incongaze for number four. And get, uh, I think, our normal malice. So it's like five spurs. So then we only need one more. And we can play Xoxul. This kind of scary because minions cost zero mana. And this gets really big. And there's a Zendo on board. Well. We place the root of banishing just too expensive. But Playberry also uh, get removed from the deck because it's not doing much. Now um, I I decided to play Gnasher uh, on top to kill the Zendo and damage these two minions and kill the Portal Guardian with Velocis and Crypto. And I also killed um, Crypto, get 5 half and have like 
Priest Burst cast. They could have killed the Colossus if they moved the Progators first and then came with Harmony, but whatever. They didn't move the Mogwai first, so they didn't draw a card, which is really good. Yeah. Now we kinda have like... So we hit the Draugr because I wanted a token, which I could um, maybe kill with Incon Gaze. Otherwise, I need Incon Gaze on my Husk. So, Incon Gaze and Malice is like 5 spurs. So, next turn we can Black Sox. So right now, we clear board a little bit. And we protect our Colossus. I tried this. Uh, I decided to kill the crypto because I could put a better battle, but here the body block for losses. And we prepare us around. They play something here, they don't move, they kill this, so they block partly with their own minions. Partly, maybe, if you're lucky. Uh, in that case, they play the action up here, not here. Mm. It's a really good BBS for them. But they block at least a little bit. And uh, Harman also damages them. So, not bad. Yeah, Alex is kind of bad because it's provoke. <clears throat> so, I had a plan here. We needed like one more. Um, well, we have the BBS. So we, I hit Alex with my face. We got a token we can sacrifice to create a 4 4 here. We get some health and some damage in. So the Shadow Dancer is doing work in this game. We got him down to two and him and blade seeker kills their own master and we won watch a damage on. it's not a great deck it kind of works because no rippler can create some tokens and the boss is not really playing around the ability but other than that it's kind of hard not the best damage deck I, I would use it against bosses but not on ladder here it's kind of first i think it's it was really it's really sp bad luminous charge is something you will never play in this game so just get rid of it if you want to and add in something else whatever you want any other token generator would be good i'm not sure you have maybe you have some blazing spines kind of expensive too these are fine i think but this is mm. This is a fun uh, Nemerton deck because usually they have way more spells and less minions. But um, because minions are cheaper, <laughs> we play them. And we have so because we have so many minions, uh, it could work. We could get our six or five tokens pretty fast. So especially because we have a Chimera on board, and Chimera creates tokens. So this seems a good choice for this boss. Here I'll place the Blazing Spines and a. Dowager, but I should have replaced um, the Blazing Spines and the Luminous Charge. Why? Because this is zero mana and it's a Sentinel. So I can fulfill try on my turn because it counts as a token. And the first one I play and Harmony is attacking so I get a token generator. So yeah, this was a mistake. Place this and that. I never play this. And we keep one in hand to fulfill the trial. And one we play on turn one to create um, provoke our oh no to hope that harmony attacks actually really good if you look at it
because now we so this was a mistake i should have i miscounted my steps the 4-2 should have been somewhere here and the 1-1 one, one should be here because harmony can move two ties forward but they will hit Chaxi for sure then we get um here token generator we have a token generator here you can even use the mana to play a spell There's one token now they are provoked that's the problem if they were here they weren't provoked we could do something but what we want this is scary because now they uh, draw some cards Harmony is playing only uh, minions by the way, so Luckily some things have one hit point so we can easily clear it So right now we have one token, but that will change in a moment So this is kind of sucky because it's the same token we already have. What chance did we get here? If it was not like that, we would have had four tokens. This is number four. And with that, we had number five and could um, transform this into a free free. And then just, oh, I mean, we, oh yeah, I misplayed here because this is a token. So we could have played the, uh, Aspect of Ravager on our 4 2. Played Psy and then Nemerton and set a drive for foot. Well, now we do a turn later. Envision was really big, a big threat here too. So, I know, okay. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. I miscounted here. I don't know why I. I think I was not used. They're not really used to this ability because Picket Augur creates the fourth token. This is the fifth token, so I could play Organ and Amazon. I could play everything. Not sure why I not um yeah why I didn't do that. Also, always replace first because then I would have maybe seen a plan. This would have been a uh, a five five ranged. Yeah, really nice. But yeah, even though we really misplayed here, don't worry, we um, we're doing well because we get a mecha saw. <laughs> so, um, first I was not sure how I could surround them because of the um. The provoke. If I attacked the provoke with my mecha sword, it would have killed the snow rippler too. I need a snow rippler, or I wanted to have the snow rippler here to body block. So I transformed um, the provoke minion. Now we can start surrounding easily around them. And there, Nematon is really good because you have a lot of token gen uh, base to generate more uh, minions. Move the flying here. We have a. Uh, here on there now we have like five tokens but we already have it before because of uh, the attack chimera twice then emerton suddenly 10 10 or 8 8 and it's game over i was curious what we'll get from chimera Another mecha saw, really fun. And yeah, Nemerton is really good against bosses. Victory. 
and done and we also used our standard budget abyssian deck which is a swarm deck um what would i do differently in this deck raging song has to go white pulse is not good Breath of Agony is really good here, I think, because they are punching up the minions. What would I play for Void Pulse and Rifting Swarm? And maybe we play Shadow Dancer, because you don't want to kill Harmony before you really can surround them. Anything else? Sheet Master. Primal Sheet Master is really good, I think, because it provokes them. Anything which has um, pretty high health. Yeah. I mean,. I can practically play anything. I we build let's build a fun deck after the replay of this one. I really would like to keep the lure because um they pull play big minions. But I don't know, I want more minions. <laughs> so I only move one tie forward, so my ravelings I summon. They can't get hit by harmony. And played another crypto. Couldn't be BS. Okay. I'm back here because this costs zero mana. Yeah, this is kind of scary. This also. Alex, a uh, zero mana. Alex is really crazy. Uh, luckily they draw some cards. Uh, they're always emptying their hand on turn one. So how do we deal with that? That's I think yeah we replaced the Herod and we got a Furiosa luckily. That's really good because now these are two twos and cleanly clean um kill the Alex Stormblade. And I so for a long time I considered where to play the aggressive agony. Here would hit like these three minions. Best would have been Exxon because it would have hit three other minions. But I could not guarantee I didn't know how to kill it. Um Because Alex had provoke. It seemed like I needed to kill it with my Shadow Watcher. But my Shadow Watcher, uh, I wanted it to survive. I needed something big to hit uh, Harmon in the face later on. I decided to put it on Exxon so it would kill um, Blazehound and Reaper of the High Moon. Or did it? No, no, I put it on uh, Alex. Sorry, my mistake. Because it would kill uh, Blazehound and damage Exxon, remove the force field so we could clear, um, kill it with um, our Shadow Watcher. Play another Shadow Watcher. Now we need to kill some more stuff to, uh, that survives the egg soon. I mean, they didn't. They get. They got a very bad minion from me, which is good. And I put the Shadow um, Dancer here to body block my Shadow Watcher. If that one dies, I'm kind of happy. Because um, I don't want the Shadow uh, Dancer actually. I want to control when Harmony dies. Maybe I should have put the Shadow Watcher kind of close or something. Well, at least they came. Maybe they play something to body block for them. No, not here because you know, that that's bad. Center was bad here because now I can't move out of the way. But what I could do is I could surround them with BBS. I could guarantee the two spawns be here 
or that the two spawns are here because I can body block everything else. And then we just hit harmony with uh, two big minions. It's so easy to che uh, to cheese this boss if you surround them. So easy. And now let's build a fun deck with the biggest guys we can find. For that, I always want to play um, magma. And we play. Yeah, we play Ragnora, of course, because Ragnora's BBS is really good here. So, 9 mana. What does 9. Ah, Dragon, of course. Volker Golem, yes, of course. Yeah, Chimera creates more minions. The Dagona, it, um, it's a good removal because it uh, gets some things. Right down? Ah, uh, no. A juggernaut to get eggs. Nice. Um, Silver Elder. Really, really nice. Um, can you summon a minion? Burn three cards from your opponent's deck. That could be fun. But action could be good here because we need more card draw. We need more card draw. We don't want Pado, doesn't do much here. Uh, we want Pandora because it creates more minions. We need more minions on our board. Also, War Talon is just nice because he has a big, he's a big provoke body. And Red Sincha could be nice. He has removal, because yeah. Um, no. That's not so amazing. Maybe a murder. But maybe we find something nicer here. No, no, we don't want Eclipse. The growth line. Oh. Can you ever damage? Yeah, we want a uh, Ruby Rifter. Breaking! Oh my god. Breaking is really nice here. Because it surrounds them. Then we have Lethal. <laughs> um. One card. Maybe find a nice 5 drop. Mortar more. Immature. Yeah, that, that could be nice. That could be even nicer than a murder, I think. Because we already have a lot of body blockers. The Puka. <laughs> well, they don't. They usually don't summon in a way that we get many uh, Pukas, so maybe not. Dancing Blade could be good. Or we play just Imperius Gyachu because they will attack it for sure. Let's play this. Oh, oh yeah. That's nice. So we keep this in hand for sure. I mean, we just keep everything, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, why would we replace anything? Um... One, two, three, four. Can surround them too, right? I'm a three spricking on four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, no, we do it. Do a little bit better. Oh, oh, bad spawn. Well, I have the good spawns, to be honest. 
Doesn't matter. I mean, I already won a game. <laughs> I mean, I have silver held on board. I just run away and have two silver elders, and then I have four. What can I do? Ich der Plech Jun. Oh Jan. Is this Francie, right? Yes. Um. Ooh, nice. Uh, they could have done it maybe a little better to prepare my surround. Okay, what do I have get? Whenever spring is destroyed. Okay, that's kind of bad. That's bad. <laughs> okay, whatever. They killed her one one with the ability. Yeah, the Pandora dies. I mean, not too bad. Now they got two cards because we killed um, the Necrosiders. So now we body block here. Wow, the juggernaut. And we win easily. I mean, this boss gets only hard if you play against phase 2. But if you can prevent that, why should you play against it? I hope this video guide could help you with this boss. I mean, it's one easy trick and you saw uh, with different decks how to do it, that you should, how to get us around before you kill them. Like try to kind of clear the board, but also build up your own board that you have enough minions that you can move in and put enough minions around it. If you want to build a specific deck for that boss, then just play only minions. Take your most expensive, most half attack minions and yeah, play them. You're already a Primal Shield Master. A free six provoke is really good here because it doesn't die to harmony. So everything which doesn't die to harmony and also can resist maybe some strong minions they play like Alex. I mean there's not much which can survive um Olivia Leviathan, but I'm sure you can find uh, a good deck for this boss. If you like my content, please um follow my channel. 
also like the video and leave a comment i'm wondering what deck did you use did you also find out did you know this trick with the surround or did you do the hard way did you experience some strange and weird interactions with the switching allegiance uh, uh, or did you find other um, fun interactions please tell me let me know and i see you next week goodbye